Hey guys, Brian and PS4 Trophies. I'm going to show you an awesome way to farm high-end loot at the Lincoln Tunnel Checkpoint. We're going to do the challenging daily mission here with a group of four skilled players. Well, relatively skilled. I'm in the group, so it can't be that skilled. Now, there's a similar method to this in the Russian consulate mission where you can essentially get your team out of bounds and then keep killing the boss over and over and over again. So I'm going to just kind of run you through the process here. And you're going to get... Uh, drops every 30 45 seconds if your group is good you can probably even do it faster in, in a better more optimal group setup but I'm not gonna run you through this entire mission because at this point you guys should know how to do it so one of the final objection uh, objectives here is to uh, kill the leader and when we do that we're gonna actually use the mobile shield exploit where we can get out of bounds so equip a mobile shield ideally with the extended mod, uh, mod so it's a, a wider shield and we're gonna run you see the boss is actually right up on that red trailer in front of us and I'm just gonna run really quickly past these enemies you can use your security wing sig signature skill if you need a little bit defensive buff there but once you're here place the shield press and hold R1 or L1 whichever one you have it assigned to throw it at a 90 degree angle to the fence at this point crouch and then you can just go right through the fence. Now you see the blue uh, shaded area on the mini map. If you're outside of the blue area, you are out of bounds. You need to get one person out of bounds, at least one. Ideally, you want to get all four of you to do it. If not all, if all four of you don't do it, you can respawn and fast travel to the group. I'll show you that momentarily. Now from back here, you can take care of the boss. You don't have to kill anybody else. Take care of the boss. Drop the high end item there for me. And at this point, you need to send one person back into the blue shaded area. So you're in the mission. He will die. And then as soon as he respawns, you'll see the entire encounter reset. And that'll include the boss. And you're going to see he's climbing back up the trailer there. So we can sit back here every 30 seconds, kill him. He has a good chance of dropping high-end loot. Once he's dead, you can then send one sacrificial lamb in and kill himself inside the blue shaded area. And it's that simple. Now we have a setup where we have two people here to the left. We have two people here on the right. There's a lot of different ways, of course, you can approach this. If your group is really high DPS, you can take this guy out in 10 seconds, probably sitting on top of this trailer. We weren't that good. But you can see I already have two high-end loot items that are sitting out there waiting for me. Now once you get enough loot, you're going to have to go in and get it. Uh, unfortunately but what happens when you respawn you're going to be back here so when you are the sacrificial lamb you're gonna respawn back here before you engage in combat you can quickly open your map fast travel to your group and help take out your group or help take out the boss now you do have to fast travel back if you want loot you can't just stay back here unfortunately you won't get any loot now again as I mentioned you do have to get your loot and you can't let it just sit there and pile up because eventually it may disappear. So when you're ready, kill the guys, uh, some of the ads out here in the beginning and make a run and break for it. You are going to encounter some more resistance, so pick up what you can. You may die a few times trying to pick up uh, your loot, but just keep doing it and you'll eventually get it. Again, one person is going to have to kill themselves inside the blue area. If everyone is outside the blue area, the mission's over. If everyone's inside the blue area, you're going to all respawn at the checkpoint, so you're just going to have to reset and start over again like we did at the beginning of the video. So simple, guys. R relatively simple. Again, there's a similar method in the Russian consulate mission. I find this one, of course, a little easier. Uh, this is based on the method I showed you a few days ago where if you're solo, you can farm a boss at the end of the Madison Field Hospital mission in a very similar fashion. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy your high-end loot. And just as a heads up, he does have the fabled high-end MP5 weapon that a lot of people love. So I hope you get it, and we'll see you soon.